There has been so much buzz about our next guest's book, and it is finally out, and I've been waiting for this interview. Lauren Oliver is out with her best-selling book. It's called Vanishing Girls. And what is it about writing, Lauren, that just brings out your best? Ooh, um, that's a difficult question. But, you know, I've always loved to read. That has been one of the single um, biggest defining kind of loves of my life. And um, I love to live in kind of other worlds and to be able to float back through, you know, between our world and the one in my imagination. Well, there's no doubt about it. We enjoy <laughs> the worlds that your mind creates, but was there even an inkling of a chance coming out of college you may not have become a writer? Well, you know, I mean, I didn't always know that I would be able to make a career out of writing, certainly, um, you know, after college. I majored in philosophy, which of course means that after college I was working as a bartender for several years. Um, I'm not sure I thought of that as a path exactly, but that was the path I was on. Um, I did think about going to become a professor. My parents are both professors. My parents divorced and remarried professors. My sister is a professor. So in my family, if you don't know what to do, you basically get a PhD and become a professor. Um, but um, yeah, so, so I did. I mean, people ask me now what I would do. The, what I would do if I weren't a writer. And I say, you know, obviously I would be a backup dancer for Beyonce. But nice. failing that, yeah, failing that, I think writing, I'm going to stick to writing. Well, now we've got one that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of buzz about Vanishing Girls. Tell us about it. So Vanishing Girls is um, at its heart about two sisters, uh, Nick and Dara, and they are very close in age, and although they are very different, they are quite inseparable until um, a bad accident leaves one of them scarred and the other one unharmed, um, and then their relationship begins to really substantially deteriorate quickly. Um, and it's a hard book to talk about without giving too much away. It is a mystery. It's kind of a psychological thriller. Um, and so there are several different mysteries, including the disappearance of a third and, and you think perhaps unrelated girl that all managed to intersect. Um, and, you know, I was really inspired partly by the relationship with my own sister and just my observations of the way that having siblings really informs our sense of identity. And of all the genres, what is it about mystery writing that you just enjoy? Uh, mystery writing is all about the structure. It's all about how you, you know, suspense is really about how you meet out information and what you tell the reader versus what you keep from the reader. Um, so it's a huge structural challenge, which was something I really embraced um, since my first, my early novels, the ones that weren't published, you know, really had no structure at all. So I've really had to train myself um, to think about that pretty rigorously. So hopefully, hopefully I pulled it off. Well, Lauren, you certainly have, but you also seem like such a free spirit. When did you realize that, man, I've got to focus on structure if I want to get to that next level? Well, you know, when you get a, a several rejections in a row um, telling you that your writing is beautiful and your character is very well developed, but that there is no plot whatsoever, um, it forces you to reevaluate really what storytelling is. Um, and I actually think, you know, partly part of the reason I started my company, Paper Lantern Lit, which helps writers actually learn about structure and narrative, is that young writers don't really have a chance to, to learn that anywhere. Um, they don't really teach you how to how to tell a story. And that seems really fundamental to book writing. And it is, in fact. Um, that's why people write. That's why people read. So, um, so yeah, I had to learn that kind of belatedly. And now I'm really fascinated by it. Um, and, and I'm always reading and picking out the structure in other people's books and admiring it. And Well, Lauren, I tell you, your structure is paying off. Congratulations on Vanishing Girls. But I know you also have a consulting group and so when you talk to people about being creative and writing stories, what's the one thing that surprises them the most that you share with them? Honestly, I'm so glad you asked that question. So um, basically all plot is driven by a character's wants, something they want and want to pursue, and also by their needs. And usually their needs and their wants are very different. So that they think they want something over the course of a book or a movie. Um, and actually what they need is something very different. And that is actually a huge mechanism of how narratives unfold and feel satisfying to us as readers. Well, you have certainly mastered that, Lauren Oliver, a name that we are going to get to know for years to come. Congratulations on your latest book, Vanishing Girl. Thanks, Con.